storm yeah. damage, obviously expensive. I'm sure some of you folks out here have experienced it. And, uh, you know, it's always terrible, but there's some folks out there that's gonna come up short with their insurance, and that's always a tragedy, and a lot of times, those are folks that can sometimes least afford it. And uh, we're not real sure yet about any federal assistance. Uh, Jacksonville State had, you know, quite a bit of tornado damage like we did in the Levin. So we're kind of thinking what we had here is one of the other places that they'll, they'll wind up being something to come along down you know, later. So just everybody kind of keep their ears open as far as that. We'd like to commend our citizens and our public work screws up, our police officers, our firemen, everybody is again a testament to the city of color. People cleaning up, people get orderly, we haven't had a lot of problems. Uh, you know, the biggest, one of our biggest concerns has been uh, maybe some unscrupulous type folks that's taking advantage of people on cleanup or roofing and, you know, with license and all that. We've worked very diligently trying to uh, to keep those people in check. And there's always, I'm sure there's going to wind up being a somewhere that's going to be tragic. Probably some, you know, like my little old grandmother or something that, you know, paid somebody some money and they left town. You know, we, we encourage anybody that they've got any questions to please call City Hall, please call the building department, please call the police department, call the fire department, call the county. You know, but don't give anybody money. You know, whatever, just, you know, be diligent and, uh, Again, I think that I uh, hate to say that we had a fire drill in 011, but boy, it's amazing how, how the city and county handles disasters. And you'll see signs of every roofer from here to California in our community right now. Make sure you base your roofs and everything off local people and local companies that have been here and established anyway first is what I tell people. It was funny, Friday afternoon I was waiting on the adjuster at my house and unfortunately my my neighborhood is one of the ground zero neighborhoods, and um, so I'm on the phone as I seem like I am 90% of my day now. And uh, so this roofing contractor's working the street. I see him coming my way, you know, and I'm on the phone, so he comes up, and I kind of move the phone. I said, I know we got somebody, you know. And uh, he goes, Yeah, but if you haven't signed a contract or given them any money, you can do this, and I'll be here within two weeks. <laughs> I just kind of moved it back. I said, I feel it's a friend of mine. I said, I am live up to my word. You know, I, I'm good. Well, he moves on, and as soon as he gives me his card thing, as soon as he, I take a picture of it, send it to West, West didn't call the home office, and like, look, we put that with that. Yeah. Look, it's fine if people want to hire you, and uh, that kind of thing, but don't be pulling that stuff, so. Yeah. So just be protected. Yeah. And you're working with EMA? Got a meeting in the morning. Uh, our folks do. They're trying to, you know, do the initial assessments that they do on the dollar value of the damages and all that. It's still pretty early. I mean, uh, you know, after tornado, you see this strong debris, and you know, it's kind of evident. Where you here, it's roof. It's it's roof. I mean, that's the big ticket items in the city of Columbus going to be roof. Cars are secondary, but roof. There's a lot of roof damage here. Factories, retail stores, shopping center. Sure. Yeah, residential. Down to just plain old folks like me and you know neighbors and everybody else with houses. And some of them yeah. are just beat through. You know, y'all all seen them beat through, the, you know, right into the house. Yeah. We're, we hate it for the tragedy. We're glad of all of our local folks, you know, that are going to be able to build back for everybody a bit better than before. And uh, it's, but it is sad. It would be interesting because I've got a feeling that this may exceed yeah. because it's all the way across town, it's pretty wide. It just may actually be more dollar, dollar value than a tornado, yeah. which is unbelievable.